What's up guys, it's Machanga back with another video. So a lot of you guys have always asked me, even though you post a lot of different bills, Machanga, which one do you actually use? Well guys, I use a variety of bills. So I've used every single bill that I've posted for you guys to check out. But if you wanna know which build I'm using right now, you definitely wanna check out this video. If you are brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on the little bell icon right next to subscribe so you don't miss any of my posts. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at a fantastic build. It is brand new and it is for Cody Krypton. So if you want to get this build installed on your device, I can definitely show you how you can do that. Let's go ahead and jump into the overview of what this build has to offer. Now, when you first install the build, you're going to be met with the movie section. And you're going to see they're going to be, there's going to be a widget in the middle and at the very top. Now in the middle, this is where you can find movies in specific video add-ons. So if you take a look here, we have things like Flixnet, Not Sure, Stream Hub, Bob U, Covenant, Superbox, at the Flix movies as well. And you can click on any of these options to open up that specific video add-on and the movies that are contained within it. Now, if you move to the very top here, this is where you can find some movies that are available. So you can scroll through the list. So let's say I wanna take a look at Wonder Woman. I can click on it here. And then it's gonna open up for me. And at this point, I can either click play. Once I click play, I can choose which video add-on I want to use to watch Wonder Woman. Also, if you look right here at these little thumbnails, these are all of the available video add-ons for me to watch this movie. And I can scroll through the list. It has things like Benyu, Bob Unleashed, Box Set Kings, Covenant, Elysium, Exodus, Flixnet, Not Sure, Poseidon, you have Showbox, Specto, UK Turks, Cartoon 8, several different add-ons available here. So you have some options if a specific add-on isn't working for you. All right, so let's go back out of this. Now we can also click on the movie's heading. So if I just click on the word movies, and then it's gonna load up to this layout. And again, I can scroll through. Let's see. If I scroll down, and if there's a specific movie I want to watch, let's say I want to take a look at the Carmilla movie. I can just click on it here. Once I click on it, it's going to open up in that layout for me again. All right, and this applies to any of the movies that you see here. Now, in the movie section, you also have the sub menu here. So you have things like high definition, box sets, 4K content, 3D movies, you even have the search engine. So if I click on the search engine, so if I wanna search for saw, I can type in saw, then I click on done. It's normally gonna be the first option in the list, and then you have saw available. And I can just watch it directly from here. So the search function in this specific build is currently working, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. Now we're gonna move on to TV shows. Again, you're gonna see the layout is just like it is in the movie section. You have your middle options, and then you have your top options. So you can scroll through. If I wanna check out how to get away with murder, I can click on it here at the top, give it a moment, and then it's gonna load up for me and I can choose whatever season I'm looking for and whatever video add-on I wanna to use to watch this TV show. Okay, so let's go ahead back. And in the middle, again, you have access to the video add-ons that are included in this build, like Not Sure, you have Wolfpack, Showbox, Unleashed, Binyu, Stream Hub, Poseidon as well. You can also click on the TV show's heading here. So if I click on it, 
it's going to open up to that same layout we saw in the movie section. You can scroll through, find whatever TV show you're looking for. If I want to watch The Simpsons, I can click on it here, give it a moment, and then it's going to load up for me. I can choose my add-on and my seasons. All right. Now in the TV show section, you also have the submenus here. So you have animation shows, documentaries, metallic shows, stand-up comedy, and you have new TV shows. Now let's move on to the music section. You have your middle widgets here. They're going to give you access to things like Spotify, SoundCloud, MP3 streams, the jukebox. You also have access to YouTube music. Now, if you scroll to the very top here, you have some other options, including Jazz Cafe, you have Hip Hop Alley, Electronic Beats, DJ Channels, and you can also complete a search as well. All right. Now, if we click on the music heading here, be patient. Now you have the option to search in artists, top albums, new albums, billboard charts, search artists, search albums, search songs. You can take a look at your favorite artists, favorite albums, favorite songs. Now all of the content that you see in this section is going to be pulling from MP3 streams. All right. Now you also have the sub menu here under music. This is where you can access radio, concerts, metallic music, karaoke night, and music TV. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the tool section. Now, this is where you can come to find things like the Celador TV Wizard, music add-ons, video add-ons, program add-ons, and adult add-ons. In the middle here, you can find iView Creator, you can access Chrome. If you're getting those open load authorizations, you can come here to pair those. You can pair your Real Dbrid, the Video Me Pair, Sideload Launcher for those of you that are using an Android device like myself. You also have access to ES File Explorer. Now at the very top, you have some maintenance options here. So if you want to clear your thumbnails, you can do that here. You can also do a speed test. You also have the, an APK installer. You can access CDTV bills here as well. Also, if you want to remove add-ons, you can also enable and disable adult add-ons. So this is going to be the section you're going to come if you want to enable or disable the adult add-ons included in this bill. This is in the tool section, guys. You can also do a full cleanup of your build. So again, this is going to be some maintenance options available to you. Again, if you want to switch bills, you can do that option here as well. All right, we're going to move on to the system section. Now in the middle here, you can find your movies library. You can access Droid Buddy 2. You can find CDMC Krypton, which is going to be a Cody fork. You can also access My Android. You can access Mobdro, Terrarium. These two are some great options if you're looking for movies and TV shows and even some live TV content. Also, you can find your TV shows library here as well. Now at the very top, this widget is going to be for your weather. Now, when you first install the build, the weather will not be to your location. So you will need to change that. And I can show you guys how to do that. All right, if we go down to the sub menu of system, again, this is where you're going to find your weather. You can also access the file manager here. So if you want to add some additional add-ons to this particular build, you're going to come here to the system sub menu and access the file manager. If you want to switch bills, also, once you add your source, okay, for your add-ons, whatever you're trying to add, you also have the install from zip file option right here in the sub menu of system. Also, you have system info. So if you want to verify what version of Kodi you're using, also some information about your specific device, you can come here to find that. Now we're going to move on to TV Pro. 
Now the TV Pro section is gonna be where you come if you're looking for live TV content in this build. You have your middle widget here, and you also have the options at the very top. So this is where you can access your settings, you can do a search, you can access your account information, video on demand, you can access the TV guide, catch up TV, the live TV option, and this is where you can find hypersonic IPTV2, and that's gonna be where you need to have your account in order to use this section. Now, if we look in the sub menu of TV Pro, this is where you're gonna find hypersonic IPTV. Now, you will need to sign up for the subscription in order to use this. You have iView TV Guide, PVR Guide, you have the free zone, so if you wanna see what's available, for free in the live TV section, this is where you're gonna come. You also have hypersonic IPTV2. Now we're gonna move on to the sports section. So for my sports fans, those of you that are looking for any type of sports content, whether it's boxing, football, baseball, WWE, UFC, even if you're looking for fitness and workout videos, this is the section you wanna to come to. You have your middle options here, which are gonna give you all of the sports add-ons that are available. Motor replays, you have Skynet Sports, Live Premiership, you have Bob Sports, Planet MMA, you have the Sports Zone, and you have Project D. At the very top, you have some of those options that I mentioned, WWE, baseball, football, sports replays, you have boxing, you have UFC, Formula One, you have NFL as well, Motorsports, Sports Devil, Sports, Live Sports, Rock Crusher, Aries Football, Vortex Racing, and the list goes on. Now we're going to move down to the Sports submenu. This is where you can find Quantum Sports, Final Gear, Nemesis Sports, you can find that fitness option I told you about, and CDTV Prime. All right. Now we're gonna move on to the kids zone. If you wanna access some kids TV shows and movies, this is where you wanna be. In the middle, you're gonna find things like Unleashed Kids, Venue Kids, Quantum Kids, Marvel vs. DC, Just Lego, you have some Disney classics, and you have Minecraft. At the very top, you're gonna to find some kids movies. You can click on these options here if you see something you wanna watch. All right, if we take a look in the Kids Zone sub menu, you can find Retromania Kids, Kids World, Learning TV, Anime Zone, CDTV Kids as well. All right, and now we're back to the movie section. Now, before we proceed to the installation process, for you guys that like to save movies and TV shows to your favorites, I'm gonna tell you where you can find those. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're gonna see a little icon that looks like a little bookmark this is where you're gonna find your favorites. So if I click on that little icon, these are some favorites that are here by default, but once you save your movies and TV shows to your favorites, this is where you come to find those. It's right next to the power icon. All right, now for those of you that actually like this build and you, you like the one that I'm using and you wanna try it out for yourself, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the installation portion of the video. Now, if you already have a build installed, you always wanna start with a fresh Kodi before you install a new build. So that means you need to do a fresh start. Now, there are several different ways that you can do that. I'm gonna use the Aries Wizard in this video, but for any of you that are using a Fire Stick, a Fire TV, or any Android device, I'm gonna leave a link in the video description. It's going to say, Wipe Kodi. You can click on that link and it's gonna show you some super easy steps to go through. You're gonna make your Kodi back to default. It's completing a fresh start, the really, really easy way. So if you don't have access to the Aries Wizard or for some reason the Aries Wizard isn't working for you, if you have a Fire Stick, a Fire TV, or any Android device, use the Wipe Kodi link in the video description. Now for everyone else, we're gonna be using the Aries Wizard. So if you don't have access to the Aries Wizard, I'm still gonna leave a link in the video description. You can use that link to install the Aries Wizard and then come back to follow along. 
but you really don't have to because we're going to actually get this particular build from the Aries wizard. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you're using default coding, you do not need to go through the process of doing a fresh start. You can skip ahead to the installation. But if you already have a build installed, we want to wipe that out before we install this one. So go ahead and access your program add-ons. This is where you're going to always find your Aries wizard. No matter what build you're using, if you have the Aries wizard included, you're going to find it in program add-ons. So now that we're in our program add-ons, I'm going to go ahead and open up my Aries wizard. You may get a loading screen that tells you to please wait. Just be patient. All right, so once it opens up to this screen, we're gonna do a fresh start before we install the build. So we're gonna scroll over and click on more. Then we're gonna scroll down to erase all data slash fresh start. Go ahead and click on it. It's gonna let you know this is going to remove all of your add-ons and everything else from Cody. If you are sure, go ahead and click on yes. Now you're going to get a pop-up here. You have the option to keep your favorites, your sources, or your add-on settings. So for those of you that are using another build, if you've saved some favorites and some sources that you like and you want to keep those, you can click those options here. All right, once you're satisfied, go ahead and click on proceed. Now at this point, simply be patient and allow it to go through the process. Now, once it is complete, you will need to reopen Cody. When you reopen Cody, you should be back to default Cody Krypton. Now, it doesn't matter which version of Cody Krypton you're using. So if you're using 17.0, 1, 3, 4, 5, 5.1, any version of Cody Krypton, you can do these steps. All right, so once we're back to default, we need to check and make sure that we have the correct setting turned on. So you're going to access your settings. That's going to be the little gear icon in the middle at the top. So once you find that little gear icon, go ahead and click on it. Now you're looking for system settings. Once you find system settings, go ahead and click on it. You want to scroll down to add-ons and you want to make sure that unknown sources is turned on. When you first install Cody Krypton, by default, it is turned off. So all you need to do is click on it one time. You're going to get a warning message. Feel free to read through that message. If you agree, click on yes to proceed. All right, and now it's turned on. So you're gonna go back one. And now you wanna access your file manager. So go ahead and click on file manager. Now you wanna click on add source. Now I'm gonna show you what you need to type in and you need to type it in exactly as shown. All right, so what you should have typed in is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash repo dash Aries dot EU. Now go ahead and verify that you've typed it in exactly as shown, and then you're going to click on OK. Now you need to give it a name. I like to keep it simple. I'm going to name mine dot Aries with a Z. You can name yours whatever you choose. Just make sure you remember it. Now, again, on this screen, verify you've typed in everything correctly. And then you're going to click on OK. Now you're going to go back to the Cody main page. 
scroll down to add-ons you're going to click on add-ons now you're looking for a little box icon in the upper left corner so once you find that little box icon go ahead and click on it now you're going to scroll down and click on install from zip file Go ahead and find whatever you named your source. Mine is at the very top. Go ahead and click on it when you find it. Now you're looking for the repository zip file. Once you find the repository zip file, go ahead and click on it. Be patient. You're waiting on a notification. It's gonna say Aries Project Add-on Installed. Or if you already have the Aries project repo installed, it will say add on updated. Once you get the notification, scroll up and click on install from repository. Now you're looking for Aries project. Once you find it, go ahead and click on it. You're going to scroll down and click on program add ons. In the list, you're looking for Aries Wizard. Now, some of us, if we already followed the Aries Wizard steps to do the fresh start, that means we already have it. For everyone else, you're not gonna have it. So you're gonna go ahead and click on Aries Wizard. If you don't already have it, when you click on it for the first time, you should have the option to install it. And that's exactly what you wanna do. Click on Install. Then you're going to get a notification, Aries Wizard add-on installed. Once you get that notification, click on Aries Wizard again. And this time you want to click on open. Be patient if you get a black screen or a blank screen. Just be patient and allow it to go through the process. All right, we're gonna give it a few more moments to load up. Now, once it loads up, we're back to the main page of Aries Wizard that we saw before. So this time, we wanna click on Browse Bills. And now you wanna scroll down until you see Celador TV. Once you see Celador TV, go ahead and click on it. Now here's the option for you to actually get a pen. So for me, I like to just open up a browser on my cell phone, type in the address that's shown here, it's shown here in yellow, type that in in the browser, and then you're gonna get your pen. You can also scan the QR code if you want to. Several different ways to get it, but once you get the number, you're gonna click on Enter Pen, Type in whatever PIN number they gave you, and then click on Done. All right, and now you're looking for Dominus Krypton. So once you see Dominus Krypton, go ahead and click on it. Now you wanna click on Install. You're gonna get that familiar pop-up that tells you you can keep your favorite sources and add-on settings. I don't need any of those, so I'm gonna click on Proceed. Now at this point, guys, you need to be patient. Depending on how busy the server is, it could take a while, it may not take a while, but either way, you simply wanna be patient and allow it to go through the process of downloading, then extracting the file. Now, for those of you that do not yet have a VPN installed on your device, I'm going to leave a link in the video description for the VPN that I use and highly recommend. I've used it for years and I do not use Kodi without my VPN. So if you want to check it out and get one installed on your device, it doesn't really matter which device you're using. 
I'm going to leave a link in the video description for the VPN and you guys can feel free to check it out. All right, we're going to give it a few more seconds. And now it's going to go through the process of actually extracting the file. Now you should have zero errors here, but if you have five or less, don't worry about it. Your bill should function fine. If you have more than five errors, then you definitely want to go back through the process of doing the fresh start, restart your device, and then reinstall the build. All right. Few more moments to go. Okay, so you should get this notification here. It's going to ask you, do you want to back up the scanner profile? It's not really reliable, so I typically click on no. For the next one, you can feel free to read it. I'm going to click on no. And it's going to let you know Cody needs to be closed. Press OK to attempt to close Cody. Now guys, this step right here is mandatory in order for the bill to stick. So you wanna make sure that if you press OK and it does not close Cody out, you wanna go ahead and make sure you exit Cody yourself. You may need to restart your device or unplug power and plug it back in. I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK. All right, so once it closes out, all you need to do is reopen Cody. Now at this point guys, you want to be patient. You want to allow it time to actually load up before you start clicking around trying to access the build. Now when you first install it, this is what you're going to be met with and we covered Dominus in this video. You are going to get this notification to give you some information. If you guys want to definitely go ahead to the CDTV Bills Facebook group. If you have any questions, if you run into issues, error messages, any of those, they will definitely be there to help you guys out. So make sure you make note of this. You may want to click on remind me later. So you'll remember to go to the CDTV Bills Facebook group for assistance. And you can also follow them on Twitter. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click on dismiss. Now you're going to get this pop up here. You have the option to choose any of these options. For me, I only need the last three clear cache, packages, and old thumbnails on startup. That means the CDTV wizard is gonna automatically perform those maintenance options for me every single time I open Cody. It's up to you if you wanna check some of the other options, but for me, the last three are all I need, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue. All right, then you're gonna get this pop up here. It's gonna give you access to the build menu. We've already installed the build that we want, so we don't need to open this up. So you can simply click ignore. All right. So what you're looking at right now is the option to click on Dominus or Infusion. What I showed you in the video is Dominus. So we're going to click on Dominus. And then it should load up to what I showed you guys in the beginning. This means you have successfully installed the build. Now, you want to give it a few minutes before you start clicking around trying to access the content. You definitely want to get it a, give it a minute to actually build the skin, all of the menus, and make sure all of the add-ons are updated. Now, for those of you that want an extended tutorial that tells you some things about customizing the build, if you don't like the layout, if you don't like the colors, if you don't like how the menus look, then let me know down in the comments if you would like an extended tutorial. Make sure you hit the like button if you would like to see the extended tutorial. So if you want to make some customization changes to this particular build, I can make a video specifically for that purpose. All right, guys, I really hope this was helpful for you. I really hope it was informative. If it was, leave me a like. If you feel like it, jump down in the comments and let me know you like it. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on the little bell icon right next to subscribe so you don't miss any of my posts. It's definitely been a pleasure, guys. I really appreciate you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.